I want to talk to you really about controlling the thoughts in, uh, that run through your mind because if you are going to think like a winner, if you're going to really have confidence, you're going to have to control your thoughts. Um, and whoever controls your heart really controls you. Now, remember I said before that your heart really is, is, in, is your subconscious and it really resides there in your soul. So whoever controls that part of you really controls you. So if, if you have thoughts that are away from the Word of God, negative thoughts, thoughts of going under, thoughts of not making it, thoughts of not having enough, just you know, thoughts like that, that will control you. Mm -hmm. So whoever controls you, that's why the enemy fights for control over you. He doesn't have to put you in physical chains. All he has to do is bombard your mind with negative thoughts mm -hmm. and then get you to agree with the thoughts. That's right. See, and that's so important because how, how do I control my heart? You have to, you know, how does someone control your heart? They have to work on your subconscious. They have to work, they first of all, have to work on you, on your conscious enough to that thought, that action drops into your subconscious. And once that happens, it's in your heart. And now you're living out something that really you never knew was deposited mm -hmm. in there. And so it's so important that we control, that we guard our heart with all diligence, the Bible said, for out of it flows the issues of life. And so I've got to understand that my thoughts, I have to control my thoughts so that I can really experience uh, what God wants me to experience as far as living this life and really experiencing the best that God has for us.